Hello everybody, this is Graham, also known as a Collector 75, and welcome back to another review. Uh, this time it's one of my uh, knockoff roundup sort of reviews of what I've been buying lately. Um, normally I've been doing this sort of like just as I do a video, whichever ones I bought, just sort of like shown. Um, as you may have known by my uh, the knockoff classics seekers, the one the, the video that I did for them. Uh, I managed to get all them now. There is the, the mainly the orange one that I still want to get, but just haven't had the money to buy that one lately. Uh, but hopefully I might buy that soon. Uh, but I bought a few others, which I'm going to show now. Uh, well, I'm going to start with the crappiest first. Uh, I went down the pound shop today, because I had to go to Staines, and I saw these for a pound, and I thought, well, why not? I haven't bought none for ages. Um, as you can see, it's an oversized MicroMaster combiner. Um, is it the... Air team, I can't remember. I think it was recolored a couple of times. Um, to be honest, I ain't got a clue why I bought this. As soon as I got it out of the packet, the fucking plastic's disgustingly cheap. You can almost see through it. I can see through it here with the sunshine coming through the window. Um, just saying that though, it does hold together <laughs> very good. Not loose or nothing. Um, yeah, I don't know why I bought that really. I could have saved myself a pound. Uh, he did come with, which one did he come with? I think he came with this. This is a, obviously again. This is another MicroMaster oversized combiner one, the Space Shuttle. This one does, is a bit loose, unfortunately. It doesn't really stay together well in shuttle mode, and the plastic is very fucking cheap. Um, see what I can do with them. I might try and put some different stickers on them or something. Again, but these are pound shop quality, so what do you expect, really? Uh, the quality on this one isn't too bad. This is a helicopter again, another MicroMaster oversized one um this is probably about the best one actually uh it's it's okay um yeah like i said they were sold in two packs and this one came with this which is an oversized i believe like a spy changer from robots in disguise or car robots whatever we want to call it um it, it's not too bad actually it holds together quite well it transforms reasonably well way and slips out of my hand quite easily as well um so I just sort of pull the arms apart put that down does have that annoying little sticker sticking off the side. I'm going to remove that in a minute. And a head sculpt. Don't know if it's going to come out too well. It's okay. It doesn't come with a weapon or nothing. Um, I was thinking of maybe uh, spraying it black and I don't know, turn it into like the Botcon Night Racer or something like that. I don't know. Just the same different. Anyway, we're going to put him down there. That's enough of him. Uh, where are we going to go next? I'm going to go over this guy next. This was also in the pound shop. Um, it actually cost me three pounds because it's three separate things. Um, it's this guy. Um, I saw this and I thought, well, for fuck's sake, I'm not going to buy that. And then the more I looked at it, yeah, you know, I just ended up picking it up and buying it. Um, the quality, I, I think this guy is the, I don't know, is it the Thomas the Tank Engine combiner thing I've seen on eBay lately? But this is obviously a very cheap, the plastic's quite cheap, but it does hold together reasonably well. Um, the first thing I'm going to fucking do though is get rid of these bloody horrible smiley faces off the fucking front and the sides. Um, yeah, get rid of them. I might put some Decepticon signs on it or something like that. I don't know. Maybe give it a try and do a few more paint applications somewhere. Make it look a little bit better. It holds together well. The plastic does still feel reasonably cheap. Um, it's got a lot of excess plastic on them you've got to trim off. Uh, I haven't done that yet. So I've literally only had this out of the box for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Uh, the box is absolute rubbish, so I'm not even going to mention that. But, you know, if you fancy wasting three quid on it, it's it's okay. If you can find all three parts in the pound shop, that is. Um, anyway, let's pop him down. Actually, I'm not going to pop him there. I'm going to pop him over there. Uh, right, where to next? Uh, we are going to go for... Um, before I get on to some more knockoff figures, uh, I bought this. This is the Crazy Devi add-on parts for Rumble. Uh, and I've got a knockoff rumble, and I'll be fit in this video. Uh, here he is here. Um, I managed to, I, I, I don't know if you remember the video I showed off of these. I managed to swap the springs out. As you can see, he's got nice gold chrome plastic. It's not too bad, but some of the parts are plastic, so it doesn't really hold together that well. The rest of the knockoff cassettes I've got had the metal parts, which hold together a lot more better than this. I do still want to get the big mission reissues of um, the cassettes, mainly because my original G1 rumble well, I don't know if I've shown it on video, but it's really bad because I obviously had it from my kid and it so much play value in it. It's it's just 
loose as hell, all the stickers are rubbed down, no chrome left on it, and I think I broke it as well. So anyway, so what you do is we're going to transform this guy, I'm just going to put these parts on him. Well, I'm going to put the two main parts on him, because I'm not going to bother the rest, because to be honest, I'm not that impressed with them. Uh, they cost me about 20 odd dollars, um, unfortunately I had to pay, the bloody legs ran away, uh, I had to pay quite a bit on import duty, which was very annoying. Um, but, you know, by the time I was hoping to intercept it at the post office, I couldn't, and I had to pay, unfortunately. Um, still there we go. Never mind. I knew they were expensive, I knew I took the risk when I bought the parts, so there we go. So anyway, this set comes with the pile drivers, a new head sculpt, and there's like a waist bit, and two guns. The guns don't fit on this guy, I don't know if they fit on original, because I haven't got an original with me to try. The head sculpt isn't too bad, I'm going to get that out and show you, but I'm not going to put it on the actual figure. Um, as you can see, there it is, there's the head sculpt, and it's going to come out too well with my head in the way. Um, it's on a little ball joint, so it does rotate reasonably well. Um, trying to get it on him though, can be a little bit of a bitch. And trying to get these bloody pile drivers on him can be a bit annoying as well. But anyway, you put his arms into this position, like so. I've got the red version, mainly because they're <laughs> sold out of the blue version. But then again, I'm... I, I always think of this guy as Rumble, even though the blue one was called Rumble in the cartoon. Just because, I don't know, I just thought, well, the toy was called Rumble, so I'll stick with that. Um, right, he has these spacers in there, and these just fit around the arms, really. Uh, they are a little bit tight. You've got to really work to get them in, because they don't seem to fit too well. Um, I may have to just fold the ports down slightly, because they don't want to go in. And I don't want to ruin the bloody stickers that I put on these guys, because I've got some retro labels for these guys. Ah, there we go. There's one. <clears throat> and we're going to come to the next one. These are just a little bit there. Oh, there we go. They look quite easy, aren't they? Right, so there's Rumble with his pile drivers. And he actually looks really really good i really do like it and the pile drivers do extend so you can have him pounding the ground like that or you can just have him ready to do some damage like that really good i do like these um just as a couple of like say add-on parts pretty damn good uh right there we go and let me just see if i can get this fucking waste piece on quickly it's it's a real pain in the fucking ass uh, there you go, you've got to put his head down, get this over it, and without breaking the fucking thing. There we go, so that's him with his, the waist piece and the head on. I managed to get one really quick. It's not too bad, um, I do prefer just the normal head though. Still pretty good, like that. There we go, you can put him over there. Uh, right, okay, and then we're going to come back to that. Like I said, I would put the guns on, but they don't fit, so let's see the point in that. And put him there. Right, next, I've got I've bought some more Crazy Debbie parts. I've got the Crazy Debbie parts for Devastator. I'm just waiting for some to come from actually crazydebbie.com, but I don't know when they're going to come. When they come, I'm going to do a full review of those, because the bits that I've got are damn good, actually. Especially the head and the forearms, though you've got to be careful. I need the rest of the waist pieces and everything like that, because he looks a bit like a bloody gorilla uh, with them on. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, I got the I've got some more bits for Predator King. But, someone asked me to do a review of my knockoff Predator King that I bought a few weeks ago. Um, I'm probably not going to do that, but what I do is, uh, he did ask me about the quality, and the quality isn't too bad. The, the plastic feels cheap, um, and as you can see, you can hear it clicking reasonably well, actually. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Why am I on this fucking leg budge? There we go. Saying that, <laughs> I'll get fucking legs apart. There we go. So anyway, but it, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's it's okay. There we go. Certainly. Bits of it are dodgy, other bits are okay. As you can see, the paint apps on that head are really shit. As you can see, I can't remember if I put them on the last time I showed off, but I put some Generation 2 stickers on him. Uh, yeah, they're okay. They're, like I say, obviously get the proper G1 versions if you can, but... You know, as an alternative, and I just wanted them for the different colours. Uh, and in Predator King, he holds together very, very well. Um, I really couldn't fault him too much, especially on this guy, which is Dive Bomb. Uh, like I said, probably in that other video, actually. The reason why I got this is for the Crazy Devi wings. 
um, they have they usually fuck up these wings. As you can see, I've put them on already on these, and you can see I don't know if it's going to come out too well. I just ripped the stickers around there, but I'm not bothered because it's a knockoff, obviously. And the wings on this are actually a lot stiffer. So when you put them on, they actually the weight because of the weight of the crazy Debbie wings, they actually hold these guys very very easy, which is pretty good. So you can imagine the wings, and I've got to admit my girlfriend saw them, and oh, wow, they look bloody damn good actually. Um, and the same with this piece, uh, this is actually more stiffer on this version than on my G1, so I'm going to use that when I do when I get the rest of the Crazy Divvy parts for Predator King. Um, I'm going to do a full review of that as well, and I'm going to probably use these wings. Even though I did get the upgrade set, where are they? There you go, it does come with the upgrade little bits there to help out. But to be honest, that can be more problems than fucking than it solves, to be honest with yeah. you. Um, but again, Quality wise, a bit dodgy, probably about, I'll give them about 6, 7 out of 10 really. You know, if a G1 was like 10 out of 10 obviously, because G1 has its bloody problems as well, doesn't it? Uh, very good, anyway, I've got a full set of these, I want to show them off, because obviously some people may not have seen the video where I did show them. Uh, here we go. This is Tantrum. Uh, you can see he's a bit turned up the wrong way at the moment. Just want to show off mainly the colour differences. This one's white and blue, obviously, and the others are orange and sort of yellowish. And it goes together quite well. Like I said, I put a Generation 2 Decepticon insignia on them just because of the strange colours, so I thought it sort of suited them better, really. And who we've got here? This is Razor Claw. He's been recolored from sort of orange and black to orange and tan. And again, it looks pretty cool. I love actually the stickers they put for the lion head there. I thought that looks really good. Uh, here we go. Uh, and then the last one is Headstrong. This one is almost a straight representation of like a you know yeah representation of his G1 self in the same sort of colours, maybe slightly off, a bit like the dive bomb. I think it looks really good with the Generation 2 logo on his head. Then if the sun, there we go. I think that looks really good actually. Um, I'll, see, I'll see if I can take a picture of it combined and put it at the end. Uh, that was them. What else did I want to show quickly? Yeah, I've got the Crazy Devi feet for Predator King, and I managed to solve one of the problems with it, uh, namely the fact that you cannot get the, this piece, which goes on Headstrong. Um, once you put Headstrong on top here. It is very, very hard to actually get him on because he's got a fit in between these two grooves. And there was a couple of grooves already. I don't know if you're going to pick out the grooves there, just on the end there. There's a couple of them on the inside, uh, but they're very shallow. And you try and get him on and you're going to rip the pieces off your headstrong figure because he's got two little tabs. Uh, what i done was just get a file and basically just file them down more. Uh, because it's on the inside, it won't show on the actual when you when you got the figure on there, so it's not too bad. I don't know if it's going to pick it out too well. But I actually managed to file them down, and now he slots on still quite tight. Don't file them down too much, just you know, file them down, try it again until eventually you'll just it goes on there pretty damn easy, and then you don't ruin your figure, and it's actually pretty good. I don't know why Crazy Debbie didn't actually notice that and then rectify it, but then again, uh. Well, then again, it's probably just a third party company and it's probably too late by the time they it went into mass production. Still, there we go. That's third party companies for you. Sometimes they get it right. It's a lot of the time they get it fucking wrong. Anyway, right, so that's them out of the way. Uh, who are we going to come to next? Before I come to my last figure, I just want to have a bit of bitch about this fucking thing. Well, this is, uh, of course, Reveal the Shield Bloody Perceptor. Um, yeah, I actually tried removing the Reveal, well, the rub sign off him I mean, under my usual way of putting it under a heater luckily i didn't leave it to there too long because the um, i ended up melting a certain part of it luckily not too badly so it's, it isn't too bad at the moment but just be careful if you're going to do that like i did um but my main gripe is that i tried trying to turn the fucking thing back into fucking vehicle mode and i can't get these f fucking arms back properly i don't know why i just don't want to seem to go back properly and this is, I just fucking hate why they do figures like this. They could have easily made it so the arms went in a lot more bloody easier than they did. Why, why do they do that? Why do they overcomplicate fucking things? And, and it just pisses you off. You're thinking, well, I'll never buy a figure like that again. And no doubt they'll come out with some sort of fucking recolour of it. Oh dear. Anyway, 
The last figure is actually one I, I saw and I had to get straight away. This is um, an oversized classics hot rod, or Rodimus, whatever you want to call it, and it looks really, really good. Um, he's about, I don't know what you want to call that now, he's like probably double sized, but he's about a Voyager sized toy. It's actually really good, especially in vehicle mode anyway. Um, the, the wheels roll really well, he's got great paint apps on him. I put a G2 or a logo on him there. I was actually thinking of uh, spraying this guy black and doing like a, I don't know, a weird oversized Henkei Wild Rider kind of homage there, but I couldn't be bothered in the end and it would be a lot more hassle. Uh, mainly because uh, the windows on him is red. If the colours reverse, it'd be quite easy, but I just can't be bothered really. Um, but it looks pretty good. I like it. I really do like it. It holds together so well in this car mode. It's actually really good. I, I do like it. Um, once you transform it into robot mode, then that's where the problems begin. You can take his little gun out. Take that out. Put that down there. And then we've basically just got to sort of like break him up. Because he taps in reasonably well. Uh, and then we're going to come to the first major flaw of this toy is that this piece just detaches. Yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit annoying. And then what we have to do then is we separate the arms like that, because they're tabbed in, and then we rotate them around, making getting everything out, out, out of the way. Fold down the bonnet section um, into place. It doesn't actually click in. You've got to try and get the arms together. Uh, the arms will bend at the elbow, flip out the little hands, which unfortunately are very loose. Well, they stay in, but once you get them out, they just flop about everywhere. So we can get those out quickly. Before my camera runs out of time. There we go. Unfortunately, this chest section doesn't actually tab into anything, so it does move about a bit. These sections on the legs don't move like they used to on the original one. Uh, oh yeah, I've got to get the feet out the back, haven't I? And the feet are just in the back, the same as usual. Get them out, some out. Come around, do it now. Okay, you fucker, there we go. It's got quite a good feet, actually, nice and stiff. There we go. Uh, yeah, so you've got to try and get, put the legs in like that, put the arms. And then when you move the arms about at the back, there's a little tab there which he uses for tabbing in in vehicle mode. Gets caught on there and can get caught on all manner of fucking bits, annoying the hell out of you. It does have quite a good head sculpt, though, <laughs> and good paint applications. Yeah. So anyway, you can get his little gun. Put it in a hand that's probably just flipped or folded away, uh, like that. It does come with a missile, but it doesn't shoot and just gets in the way, really, and looks a bit crap. Uh, then what you're supposed to do with this back section uh, is you get this. This detaches out of there. Uh, oh, no, roll away. This folds up. It doesn't stay there too well. Um, then turn it that way round. Again, with this, you can see the giant little tab there. Then he's got a hole on his back. I believe it's the same hole that it went into in vehicle mode, and he just sort of slot it in there. It unfortunately doesn't stay on there too well. Um, I'm thinking about putting a lot of super glue around it to build it out, and it all should be on there tougher. Then we get this part, which, like I said, detaches, and then as you can see, there's like a hole, or like a gape there, we want to call it. And then you just got to basically hope for the best, stick it in. Get it roughly central and leave it there and then try not to touch it because just trying to stand this guy up the other day i knocked this fucking backpack off about three bloody times before i got him there standing up just with the backpack so yeah it's 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 all right it's it's quite a good well i'd say quite good it's a bit unfortunate in robot mode otherwise this would have been good um if you can sort out the backpack yeah it would have been all right actually but saying that as a novelty toy I think it was probably a little bit more expensive than I would like to have paid, especially for the lack of certain bits on it. But it's still very good. Uh, right, this has been Graham the Collector 75. I'm going to finish this video off here. And I'm going to try and do some more bits. And so, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.